We have the match going oh on. Here we go, guys. We've got our first match here between Kurtball and... And I'm actually watching Kurtball out of the gate. And once again, thank you to Adam for providing our spec hut today. But we've got a very quick initial frag there from Kurtball. Make that a pair of them. Two before items come up. And uh, Kurtball hasn't been touched in either of those fights. And usually going for frags before items come up is a bit of a risky endeavor. Reload starting off good now, though. He's got a rocket launcher and he picked up the Mega. Yep. He's only got a green, but I, I think he can make it work. Just waiting for Kerpal. Spots him. He doesn't have a whole lot of long-range options here. He's got mid-range here with the LG, but he's going to be trading damage, if that. And Reload's going to be spawning, well, 15 seconds away from the Mega, but you'll be able to take away Yellow Armor and Rocket Launcher on this side of the map. we got Kerpal coming back in, though, with LG, and man, smacking him right in the face with one of those grenades, really solidifying his position on this Mega health. This is Mega that really... Reload does not need to be entered in on, but it was good damage there. That might turn into a bit of a power play on the red armor if he can pick up weapons in time. He's gone through the teleporter, he's back up here, he's doing damage. He might not be able to challenge the item itself, but he should be able to make some hurt happen. It's definitely the way to go. Yeah, that's a good move on Reload's part. It's, uh, his aim's not looking too hot, but that's a really good position you have there. Finds Kerpal here, off, gets the kill, and he's looking good for a yellow pickup if he gets it in time. That's one of the things I always like about Warsaw is how razor thin the edge between having to play defensively and having to play offensively is. You know, at least until Quake Live was updated, you know, you can plus back all day. In, in Warsaw, you really have to make some hard decisions about when to push in and make something actually happen. Yeah, because like the down player can do so much damage. Oh, absolutely! Right off the spawn, it's pretty, it's pretty terrible when you're in control and you just get killed. Terrible! It's great. It means that. You know, if you're going to stay in control, you need to be doing frags without taking that much damage. You know, it's, I think it's... Yeah, a, you're never safe. I think it's a great balance. Oh, nice pop up there. From reload. He <laughs> caught Kerfal off guard. He thought he was going to go underneath. Yeah. And after, but Reload will claim the Mega. Uh-oh. And after oh. his nasty start here, he's actually only down by a single frag. He's got red armor. He's got Mega health. He's full up on weapons. And I, oh, I keep forgetting him more, so I can't switch. Well, Three. Well. Two, so Kerpal off the spawn, one. doesn't have a whole lot of armor, but he's got LG, he's got rockets. We've got 15 sec uh, sorry, 10 seconds to the next red armor, and it looks like Reload taking one more frag there to tie back up 4-4. Four to four. Should be able to take it without a whole lot of trouble here. He's spamming off to keep Kerpal off his back. He's got the grab, he's making his way back over towards the mega side of the map, which is where Kerpal wanted to be to stay safe, to grab away maybe some yellow, maybe some health, but it's going to be Reload entering on him and taking the lead. Wow, and Kerpal is nowhere near getting an armor anytime soon. Reload just cleaning him up here. I think Reload has realized that his LG's not looking too good. And he's uh, switched predominantly to rockets again. And if you can do what Kerpal's doing here and, you know, taking advantage of this corner where really the LG works out best in this map. You know, he was able to do a bit of damage there, and he's got Reload down to 20 health after the attempted pop over there, and can Ooh. deny the Mega health. Uh, not quite taking the lead, but certainly taking control here once again. Still a lot of time before that Red Armor comes up, so if Reload gets decent damage done here with Rockets, Kerpal might be in some trouble. So this is a risky fight, but he finishes him off with LG, got two seconds left to Red. He's looking for Reload to come around, just to do a little bit of initial damage before going in for that Red. Wants to do some hurt, wants to take advantage of him coming up that wall. He's got a little bit of that LG fight in there. But he's able to take away that red regardless. And that would actually worked out for him really nicely. He could take red at will. He knew that reload wasn't in a, in a position where he could, you know, take it back very quickly. And that let him burn some time before the Mega. But that's reload still coming in with the brutal rail. And taking the lead and control once again. Man, those rockets, Kurtball. Not quite His looking the right way there. Yeah. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, I think I think uh, Kerpal has noticed that reloads uh, LG isn't working out for him, so he keeps switching to like the the longer mid range. Yeah, and then and reload has to make these ambiguous rocket shots. Oh, wow, reload going to town here with the plasma. <laughs> <laughs> so but, I, I love it when people destroy people with plasma. But man, reload has taken an insane lead here so quickly, especially after a nasty start like he had. So Red Armor's back up. It's going to be a bit of a fight over. Kerpal's still entered in here. He's still got a dog Rocket's in this fight. Strong. Rockets from Reload from... Oh, shit. Are going to be completely taking Kerpal over. That was some decent LG, but he wasn't going to be able to really make a, a solid defense of that Red Armor from that position with that. Nice run coming out of Kerpal. 
Purple yeah. now is actually Purple looking, looking for comfortable. No, he really isn't, especially with that last rail. He's got one good rocket dunk. He's trying to hold down the red armor area here, but he's, he might need to leave it up. Oh, but he could take oh, reload down a perfect rocket right between the eyes. Able to take that red armor around, and we've got eight seconds up to Mega. This could be Kerpal taking control of things once again, but again, this is a chance for reload to deny that. He's only got uh, rockets and shotgun, though. He's got one good rocket off, but nowhere near enough to really justify staying in that fight. Ends up taking one rail on the back as he tries to exit. We're coming up soon. Ooh, Rilo's gonna make a play, but he got hit pretty badly. Purple goes in for the chase, doesn't uh -oh. decide to follow. He's gotta clean his balls. Oh, <laughs> that was actually nice by Reload. Oh, mutual frag. And Reload's looking better for the red here. Give that away. Purple's got another timeout. I would too with the mouse doing that. Yeah, he, he keeps locking up. <laughs> Lol, I'm leading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Reload came back, I think this morning or something, from a four-day trip to London. Oh, really? Wow. He told me he hasn't played since uh, the last time he played here for the Cup. I don't, I don't remember when that was. Yeah, half the signups were like BRB re reinstalling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least people are interested enough. Yeah, yeah. I don't mean to be facetious about Warsaw at all. I, I have a very large part in my heart for it. Honestly, all, all these players are like so grown up now and they got yeah. stuff to do. Yeah, exactly. Well, I, I think Warsaw is a great case study for it. Here's how you can make an awesome shooter and it still doesn't capture, you know, the portion of the market that you need. And of course, the dev team is like two guys now, right? So, you know, yeah. you, you really can't, can't blame anybody for anything too much there. Can't have some guy constantly trying to sell it on social media and stuff like that. Right, right. Oh, but Rila looking good again. Uh, making Kerpa run for it. Just cuts him off uh, from the top. Oh, Kerpa's good. What's wrong with his mouse? He's dying. We'll get a new one. Don't you have, like, spares? Seriously. Like, have, like, a backup WMO, dude. <laughs> But here we go, guys. Map two between Kerpal and Reload. Reload taking the first map after a forfeit from Kerpal. His mouse wasn't quite uh, verified before the tournament started. Got to got to warm up your mouse, man. All right. Yeah. Well, maybe it chose just that map to crap out. Um, I mean, are we watching him? Not, well, we are now. Yeah. Yeah, let's yeah. hit the fragger. Right, so we've got first items coming up, and this is a bit of a bigger map now, so you're looking at more of an even split between the Mega, Yellow, and the Red Armor side of the map. And so we've got Kerpal making a bit of a move here towards Red. He's got Rockets, he's got LG, he's got Rail, so he's got the big three. Oh. But it's going to be a bit of a Flatland fight with Rockets here, which is a nasty fight to get caught in. And you kind of reach the there. point where even if you do get the item, the fight really wasn't all that much worth it. Oh, but the 50 still up and available for him. And actually, Rilo could have used that 50. I think he... Do you think he got knocked out of it? Looks like it. I'm not sure. But he looks Rilo like he might have been above. scared off of it, for sure. Yeah, for instantly gets punished for the peak. But we've got him getting away with that red armor, so he's back on the run now. But his movement isn't looking quite as speedy as it could. But Whoa, moving back out. up to the top of the map. He's been... Yeah, he's been trapped up here before. <laughs> And right now he's looking like he's not entirely sure where Kerpal's attacking from or where he's going to attack from. Yeah, he comes around that corner and Kerpal's already on top of him. Now he wasn't really ready with a lot of damage. He's still got four rockets left to his name and he's really fighting for this frag, but he's not going to be able to get it. He's got reload oh, knocked reload. down, but that'll be first frag going over to reload. Oh, it was so low. 15 health still for reload and uh, oh, he tricks Kerpal. That's wow. good. So if you can take away this 50. Oh, but he runs Ooh. right smack into a rocket, tying it back up one to one. Just a couple Beautiful. minutes lo knocked off here, and really taking away yellow armor right off of the spawn. Got another, another YA for him to take, but he's more interested in this red. And he's going to be on it on the spawn, but he ends up getting knocked off after a rocket. Comes back into that fight and finishes off with Gunblade. Very nice. Nice finish. And Reload, he's not too low. Finds Kripal here without a gun. Oh, he misses a shot. Can't hit that EB though, giving Kerpal a chance to move in with shotgun and finish him off. So just trading frags right now and trading items as well. But now, after that last bit of damage, we've got both Red and Mega coming up. So Reload is dashing his way back over to it. We actually hear Kerpal over on the yellow armor. 
Oh, very Which strong. cuts himself <laughs> off from the red, giving that over to Reload. So that was a freebie for him. Yeah, Reload really solidifying himself here. Cutting that map in half. Ashley has his Kripal here. Kripal missing his shots. We'll, we'll try to back off here, because I mean, Reload's looking like he's got a really big lead in this fight. Oh, there he gets a kill, and Reload, ready here for the red armor. Kripal, um, get this one by the red arm. No, by the rocket launcher. He's standing still for a lot of time here, and he's not really ready for the damage coming out of Reload. And oh, those they're, rockets. They're trading a lot right now, but... Reload's gonna be leaving it up anyway, but because he's got someplace better to be, Kripal doesn't really have a reason to be over at the Megat. Still 10 seconds away. And he's finally making his move back over towards the red, but he's not really committed to it. He doesn't have a railgun. But he could still oh. get away with that Mega, but at what cost? He spent like a full 15 seconds just focused purely on that Mega. It immediately gets knocked off. Oh, and that's what Rila did need. Kripal being ready there to pick him off on spawn. Wow. Oh, strong grenades. Those grenades. Are gonna have to shift Reload's thinking here a little bit. We have Mega coming back up. Reload actually should have heard the spawn. I know I did. Yeah, there you go. And just FYI, Twitch has been playing absolute havoc with audio video sync lately, so if it's a problem, I can assure you it's not me. And it's something. Oh, damn, I'm still doing that. Yeah, it's something I've attempted to compensate for, but the issue is, is that the amount of desync is fluctuating all the time, so any compensation that I do will end up being disadvantageous as soon as, you know, it fixes itself. Yeah, I noticed that last time. Yeah. Like, it was so much shorter at the start, and then... And from what I hear, it's not just me, so that gives me some amount of assurance. I went back and I looked at my local recordings, and they're fine. I always keep clicking the wrench icon, telling Twitch it's out of sync, but... Yeah. No fix. Yeah, well. uh. Maybe it doesn't like 60 hertz streams anymore? I'm not sure. Oh. <laughs> All fair. Oh. Alright, but one frag up here for a reload, just about halfway through here. And Cripple's, again, camping on this Mega and not really aware of the timing for it. He could use some Pi timers or something. <laughs> reload making his way back over towards Red, and Cripple's gonna figure that out, going, okay. He's moving over towards red, maybe I need to be there too. And to his credit, he's actually done some good damage, but not really enough to justify moving in on that red, especially after trading rails like that. He's gonna be able to take away a 50 health here. But we have a free yellow and mega go and a cripple. That was a really big opportunity for Reload to kind of plus forward a little bit. Yeah, that, like he really denied cripple in the last fight, and, and now Reload's looking in trouble. Trying to get into position here to fight cripple for this red, but I think he's gonna be late. <laughs> the, the old switcheroo. Reload gets away with the red armor. Yeah. But Kerpal patiently waiting in the middle. That was middle. such an awkward minute to watch, because that reload should not have watched. The game was going so so fast for a reload, and Kerpal was just chilling in the middle. Yeah. And, but he was the one doing all the damage up until that last fight. Yeah, he was. I thought he'd get away with uh, that red, but... Yeah, really patient play by Kerpal. Oh, catches Reload here off guard. Reload not ready for it. He gets a red bud. He must be really low. He's looking for that rail, and he ends up smacking Reload with it. That gives him a lot of opportunity here mid-map. Yeah, he's just gonna find this fight before items come up. He's gonna sink back to take control of that yellow armor, but he's still gonna be on top of Reload here a little bit. He can still get a rail before Reload disappears out of the teleporter. Ouch. Reload's on 25 health. Yeah. All looking pretty. And even on a map where you can split items, you know, on timing like that, when you're so low, you just cannot afford to get in on that red armor. That's a really dangerous kill. Like, that yellow armor is up for Kerpal. Nothing's going to be safe for reload. And Kerpal has so many weapons on him right now. Yikes, yeah, yeah. And he's hitting really good rails as well. Taking a quick look here, he's hitting 40% EB. Not too shabby at all. Reload's uh, accuracy not looking too good, but I think if he sticks to rockets and uh, electro bolts, he'll be do doing good. It looks like Kerpal's starting to lean on that a little bit more. He's definitely more into come at me bro mode now on the mega side of the map. And he's just starting to flip the map over from side to side. 
kind of really putting yeah. in Reload's court to do the damage. And Reload was doing a lot of really good pot shot damage in the earlier half of this match. Now he's, he's kind of having trouble. He's getting punished every time he comes into an area. This is a complete reversal from the opening minute. And just looking at how Kripal is taking control of this map, or how in control he is, he, he's only cutting through the middle of the map. Like, Reload has no business being there, as long as Kripal's there. He's making Reload uh, run all around. Oh, and Reload actually finds him here. He's gonna lose the LG fight. Try and take him on Electro Bolt to Electro Bolt. Kripal just healing here with grenades, and Reload will go down. And once again, Reload really just spawning in a really bad position. So you can take away rockets here, and close range is going to do some good. Following up the jump pad, not so much. So we got Mega available once again, and finally Relo can trade here. Hopefully he'll be able to use this to his advantage, but walking into you know potential rockets isn't going to be doing him any favors. And again, Cripple's timing is just not right on point, but his aim on the EB certainly is. And Reload's calling GG there. It's going to be map for both of them, both Reload and Kripal. Going to be going into a tiebreaker here in just a moment. So guys, stay tuned once again. Uh, all right, guys, yeah, we've got the final map up here between Reload and Kripal. It's going to be a little bit of uh, DM2 action. It's always been one of my favorite maps. And if you're just learning Warsaw Duel, I mean, this is like the map to focus on. A great one to start learning. It's uh, relatively simple. A single atrium, big old donut. <sighs> Only a couple of teleporters, and they're pretty easy to figure out. But man, we've got Reload just like sitting there for a couple of initial rails. Yeah, yeah legit, what, what was that? I'm just going to stand here not shooting, and we'll let you rail me twice. So I, I didn't want that Mega anyway. <laughs> there, he'll be in good positioning for the Mega. Get away clean, actually. Triple going in for the chase. Oh, I don't think he's got a lot of ammo to work with. There we go. Reload will pick it up. He'll get a red for his trouble here. But we'll give away Rocket and Yellow to Kerpal here. And I think Kerpal's just going to play it safe here. Nope. He's actually going to go in aggressive. Pushes in with a really good Rocket. Kills himself. Oh, minus one on the board. Yikes. Now, if he's already mad, this is not going to help. No. But he's hitting shots. That's... Uh, looking good for him. Yeah, he's got Reload down to 31 health. I mean, Reload will have to play this thing fairly carefully in order to maintain control here. But man, he can catch Kerpal on the back clean. of that rail. Take away the Mega, take away the Red. It was a huge opportunity for Kerpal there. A bit of a lost one now. And look at that, like no armors on the Duke out here. Oh, he's, and he's mad. hitting the he's, shots. He's mad. Aww. <laughs> that, that is an angry fight. Yeah. Went in for it though, and he took it back in. Getting back up on Zero. Going to take a look here at Kerpal. Got a little bit of armor to play with. We've got five seconds to both Mega and Red, so we've got the split, but even on this map, you rarely see the split actually go between two players. It, it's usually all or nothing, just with the momentum that you end up getting here. But Kerpal is playing a little bit of, of, of dumb there, down in mid-map. <laughs> uh, some banner in chat. Now, the hopefully, pretty good now. hopefully when he rage quits in about a minute here, he doesn't quit out of the entire tournament. You know, somebody needs to run this. Oh, dear. So we're back down to negative one for Kerpel. Fun story. Yep. <laughs> we're going to have a bit of a fight here over the red armor. Real is going to be able to get the rocket jump with a little bit of help from his friend. Can't quite get the rail in on Kerpel over the mega, though. I think he, he pulled that shot. Wants to give Kerpel a little bit more of a fight here. A, a pity mega right there. <laughs> and he tried, you know, he said, all right, let's go close range with Plasma. There you go. Isn't that better? Oh, Reload. Zero again. Reload is a diplomat for sure. He's healthy. He's going to go in for this red. He's going to get the grab here. But over the top, mega's available. And Reload is nowhere to be found. Reload's actually very low on health. He ends up taking away one more 25 there. Wants to be careful on this teleporter and looking both ways before he crosses three ended up being the right Ooh. decision. Gets out of that Wasn't fight with ready. only two health. The crap that he survived that, the fact that he survived that at all is just amazing. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a whole lot of places to go right now, not without that 50 being up. Nope, and he's got no weapons on him right now. Man, it's just to take away a rocket, but he's so low. One electro bolt, all he all it takes. 
Takes away the red though, and uh, it's gonna take your higher position into the mega health. And he's looking okay, he's getting away pretty clean. <laughs> that rocket. He's not grabbing away an Eevee right now. No, I, th I think Reload's noticed that uh, Kerpal keeps pushing in every time he goes to Eevee. Because he mad. Yeah, he is mad. <laughs> so Kerpal's getting some decent shots here. Some of these shots are making me wonder if his mouse is still broken though, but nice rocket. Railing all the way across the map, down over to the yellow. Popping back through the teleport, and like you said, he's on the chase. He wants to close the distance and finish. Reload off. Oh, geez. Really nice rockets there. Kerpo was thinking, do I really want to go down that, that tunnel? Do I really? No. He ended up getting the frag anyway. Only down by four now, but we're now halfway through the match. And Reload decided to start denying health for uh, Kerpo. So he can actually fight here on this mega, but he's going to get away the mega. These are some bedroom mm -hmm. antics that Reload is pulling. He doesn't want Kerpal to blow his low just yet, so he's like, ease off, just take it easy. Think about baseball. But we got Kerpal finally taking away a red armor here. We have no rail on the response from Reload. We're taking a look at Reload. He's actually got, well, a little bit of armor. It's all going to get knocked off, though. Again, Kerpal just drops right down into the pit. Forget having that height advantage. He's going to get the first tit and then just drop down. So that brings him within two here. Oh my god. Oh, that was nice. I'm sure he wasn't expecting him to drop down the uh, the LG though. Oh, oh, Reload misses that really crucial rocket there. 50 health though, and Kerpal gets pushed down way low in health. And I think Reload's looking good here for the Mega. Oh, unless he <laughs> runs into Plasma right there. Yeah, so Reload's really gonna give away the Mega. Yeah, but that's gonna be a traded off. Oh. Red trade. armor, but he, instead of breaking over towards the 50 after that red, he goes over for the YA side of the map. But ends up beating that rail there. That's not gonna be helping him at all. There's the 50 finally up. Jumps over that last rail, but man, takes the second one as he tries to push towards the jump pad. Damn. That was actually really good maneuvering by Kerfall. Denied a lot yeah, of was. options from him there. Really patient. Oh, can't just reload here by the red armor. Oh, that's not looking good at all. And they are actually tied. And that's just giving Kerpal too much time here to warm up. Yeah, he's been trying to play the plus back game pretty consistently, but he really needs to make Kerpal start thinking more about armors and megas. Because I think, you know, at will, Reload can win the item game, but Kerpal hasn't had to play the item game for a little bit here. He's just been able to focus on Reload's position and doing damage. Oi. Okay, Especially with the timing of these frags. Kerpal can just, quote-unquote, worry about the item game for a second as he picks back up, and Reload only has enough time to grab away. Well, in this case, EB and Shotgun. A little bit of armor. Oh, nice play there by Kerpal. Narrowly goes in for the chase. Reloads in a lot of trouble. And again, the plus four coming out of Kerpal here. Reloads on the run. Back through this teleport. It's going to be kind of risky, but he's guessing that, all right, Kerpal's much more willing to chase than to actually set up a trap on the teleporter. So Reload goes back through, grabs away yellow armor here. And is trying to hit this long range DB, but it's not quite connecting. Kerpal doesn't care. Out of fucks to give. Oh, but denying that jump there. It's going to be huge, and Kerpal's going to end up fragging himself. Uh -oh. That'll tie it back up 6-6. Six to six. Oh, man, but that got blade, though. <laughs> it's going to be traded items between the red and the mega. Kerpal's got only rockets right now, that, however. Oh, good stuff from Reload. He's only hitting 28% EB here, but he's throwing off a lot of spam as well. He is throwing down a lot of shots. Gonna be a, another close range fight here. As long as Kerpal doesn't rock himself in the face, well, it'll be another frag up for reload there. Seven to six now, just a, under a couple minutes oh, left on the clock. His timing is off. Yeah. And he's low on health, but he can hit one defensive rail there. And Kerpal comes in for it as well. Oh, man. <laughs> Somehow what? worked out being like 20 seconds too early for Mega. It works out well when your opponent doesn't have precise timing of it either. I'll Kerpal pick it up though, and he. 
Just gonna clean so, up some armors here. One thing I've noticed with the item timers is that situation doesn't really happen as much anymore. I, I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing yet. <laughs> you mean that they're having trouble timing? Well, if one guy has trouble timing and the other guy assumes that the other guy's got good timing so he shows up anyway, but they're both 10 seconds early. That yeah, doesn't really happen anymore. <laughs> but still, it's one frag apart <laughs> and reload. Currently in the lead. He needs to fight over this red armor, and this is a fight he can leave at will. I, he doesn't really need to push in on this. In fact, he's doing himself a lot of damage by pushing in on that. He needed to go get the red and then come back in for the mega, but now, as it stands, it's going to be a trade. And that wasn't really necessary. He could have taken both away from Kerfal. He was just a little bit too eager for that damage at that point. And now he's trapping himself down at the yellow armor, but Kerfal is going to be hurting himself with rockets just as much as reload. He could take away that 50. And Kerfal. Trying to make good of damage here, but he's a little bit light on weapons. Reload's... Reload just has to stay safe for 10 more seconds. Yeah, he definitely looks like he's starting to turtle it back oh. up, which he's been able to do successfully throughout the bulk of the match. But Red Armor will be up as a little bit of a rocket doink to keep good. him off, and yeah, that frag will do it. 10 to 8, final score. Very good game out about. But that will be Kurtball taking a loss on his first match here. Reload, picking up the points in the group stage. So, guys, stay tuned.